So let's talk about how we can create a two-dimensional array. And by saying a two-dimensional array, I mean a matrix. As you can see, matrix has two dimensions, rows and columns. So the first dimension is rows and the second dimension is columns. So in order to make a matrix like this, we can simply use a two-dimensional array. So as you can see here, we have imported the NumPy package as np. Then I simply type np.array because I want to create an array. An array, and I want to make it a two-dimensional array. So first of all, you should open a square bracket, and you can see that PyCharm closes that square bracket automatically. And then you should press Enter, and here we can define the rows. So the first row is two minus three comma one. So this is the first row comma the second row. The second row is two zero and minus one again comma, and the third row is one four and five. So let's store all the stuff in a variable, let's say called A. So this is the name of our matrix. And now if I print A, and now if I print type of A, and if I run a code, you can see here is our matrix, and you can see that it's a n-dimensional array. And if I want to print the shape of this matrix, I can simply type print, and I can simply type A dot shape. So A is the name of our array, and dot shape returns the shape of that array. So if I run a code, you can see the output is a three by three so it is a three by three matrix so you can see it's a two dimensional array because it has two dimensions this is the first dimension I'm in rows and this is the second dimension I'm in columns and here is a question can we put all this stuff in one line or we should put all this stuff in different lines so the answer is you can put all the stuff in one line but it is not more readable so of course you can put all the stuff in one line but as you can see, this is not readable. So I prefer this way because it is more readable. So you can see that these are the rows of our matrix. And we are going to talk about a lot of operations like matrix multiplication, determinants of a matrix, inverse of a matrix, and etc. in future videos in this series. But now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.